Good evening. Hello, Lorraine. How are you? Fine. Good. To begin a new week. Excellent. Excellent. That's the attitude. Yeah. A new week, a new day, new opportunities, new everything. And at the end of the month, too. End the of last the month, last week of July. Yeah, yeah. Time is flying. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Time is flying. Yeah, we're trying to be on August. Yeah. So, you guys are happy because next week we have vacations? Yes, when we go to begin the vacation on Thursday. Uh, this Thursday is the last class. And yes. then we come back the 9th, August 9th. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So welcome back, Maria, Lorraine, Tanya, Ellie, Felix, Rose, and Corey. Welcome back. How was your weekend? Good, work, teacher. That's good. Thank you, teacher. Good, good. Did you rest? Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Rest. Good. What is the opposite of rest? Work. Work. Exactly. Work. So, did you rest? Yes, we rested. Well, supposedly that's why we have Saturday and Sunday off to rest. But sometimes we work every day. Anyways, what's today's date? Uh huh. Monday, July twenty sixth. July twenty sixth, two thousand twenty one. Oh my God! You know, every day when I wake up, I thank God for letting me open my eyes. You know, because while we sleep, many people die. Yes. You know, so we have to be thankful that he's letting us open our eyes again. Anyway, so it's July 26th. Do you remember the topics we spoke about on, on Thursday? What were the topics? Indirect questions. Indirect questions. So if I say what time is it, is that direct or indirect? Direct. How would you transform that question into indirect? Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Do you know? Do you know? How do you say the casualidad in English? Casualidad. The casualidad? Uh, I don't know. You say by any chance. Oh. By any chance, de casualidad. So how do you say, de casualidad me puede cambiar este billete? How do you say that? By any chance, you can change this bill? Uh -huh. By any chance, can you change can you this bill? Change this bill. Uh -huh. De casualidad me puede prestar su teléfono. How do you say By that? By any one? change, can you borrow your cell phone? Can you lend me? Can you lend me? Excellent. Can you lend me? What's the difference between borrow and lend? Because you can use the two options, but you use them differently. What's the difference? Lend. Say lend. Uh huh. What's the difference? Borrow when you ask something. Excellent. And lend. Lend when you uh, give. Excellent. Very good. Borrow is when you need the, the object. I said, uh, Flor, can I borrow your cell phone? I need the cell phone. Or okay. I can say, Flor, can you lend me your cell phone? So okay. the, the two options mean prestar. But the difference is the one that you receive and the one that you give. Okay. All right. Anything else? Anybody else? Questions, questions? And the sentence by any change is change. Change. Uh -huh. um, 
is frequently used to gringos so or in the United States. Yeah, yeah, by any oh, chance. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The same way you use it in El Salvador, de casualidad, mm -hmm. you use it with the same frequency in the U.S. Okay. Mire, de casualidad ha visto a mi perro, a mi gato. By any chance, have you seen my dog? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so direct and indirect. So where is my brother? Direct or indirect? Where's my yeah. brother? Direct. Direct. How do you make that into indirect? Do you know where my brother is? Excellent. Do you know where my brother is? No, I haven't seen him. Exactly. Y ahí está escondido el muchacho. Yes. Could you help me where, uh, with a sentence? Sure. Um, where should I go shopping? Uh huh. I need to convert in indirect question. Oh. Do you know where I should go shopping? I should. Yeah. Could you tell me where I could go shopping? By any okay, chance. The same, the same sentence. Uh huh. But we need to add in the the indirect sentence. Right. Do you know? Uh -huh. By any chance? Could you tell me? When you make an introduction to the question, that is indirect. Okay, and the question is the same. Okay, but what is the direct question that you have? Uh, where should I go shopping? Okay, so do you know where, where should I go shopping? Do you know where should I go shopping? Where I should, okay. Or like can a you sentence, tell me? Like a sentence, no, no like, like a, a question. question. Yeah, like a question. Where should I go shopping? Do you know where should I go shopping? Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. And where is a good place to meet friends? Can you tell me where is a good place to meet friends? Okay, the same question. <laughs> yeah. Or do you know where a good place to meet people or to meet a friend is? Ah, okay, that is the question because in the platform or in the classes, uh, I saw or I, I learned uh, the verb to be is in at the, the end. Time, uh, in the end. Yeah, exactly. But we can use the both form. Yes, you can use it in both forms, but um, grammatically speaking, a verb to be should be at the end. Okay. Yep. Any questions? No? How do you say llave in English? Llave. Key. Key. Llaves. Keys. 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 Or keys. Keys. Okay, let, 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 let me put it there. So, keys. And then you say keys. Is. So, keys. Every morning you kiss your husband, you kiss your wife, your boyfriend, girlfriend, your children. Now you say, where are my keys? Keys. Right. Keys. Or you say, by any chance, have you, do you know where my keys are? Where my keys are? Mm -hmm. So apparently they're pronounced similar, but they're not the same. Kiss. So I say, where's my keys? Where's my key? Okay, anyways, uh, questions or comments? Do you remember the three different possibilities in terms of pronunciation of ED in past tense? Mm-hmm. T, D, 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 D,
Uh -huh. What's number three, hey. Carla? Uh -huh. How do you pronounce it? Okay, so you Hi. go like this. Okay, what is the past tense of clean? Cleaned. 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 What is the what is the past tense of wash? Wash it. Wash it. Wash it. The past tense of wash is washed. 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 And what is the past tense of complete? Completed. 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 Now remember that the ID between the brackets, that's the phonetic symbol. It's not the real pronunciation. Phonetic symbols are pronounced completely different than reality. So you say ID, so completed. No, it's completed. Wanted. No, it's not wanted. It's wanted. wanted. For wanting. Okay. So, any questions about this? Do you remember the image that I shared with you guys about the three different uh, possibilities? Del documento que le ven como dos, tres veces al día ustedes. Remember? ¿Saben de cuál documento le estoy hablando? El que leen en su hora de almuerzo, cuando van para el trabajo, cuando van para su casa. I don't have this document. That document. Ese mismo que ustedes leen a cada rato. Let me, let me see it. Um, para los que no estuvieron ese día, let me see this here. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, ese dice. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, ese, okay. Let me see this here. Give this a screenshot. Okay, let me... Um, uh, nine, 9 to 10 p.m. Ahí se lo voy a enviar otra vez para que... Yo sé que hasta ya lo imprimieron, pero por si quieren andar la, la copia digital, ahí se los mando de nuevo. Thank you. All right, good. Ahí está en el WhatsApp. So, anyways, why am I mentioning this? Because today's topic, vamos a ocupar ese mismo sonido para algo diferente que no es pasado simple. But anyways, this is going to be your introduction. I will ask you to work in pairs. And you will talk about the activities you did on the weekend. Which tense will you use? Uh huh. Past tense. Past, Past tense. tense. So remember, if you're using regulars in, in the past, you have to pronounce ED in three different forms. What if the information is negative? What didn't. do you use? Didn't. didn't. What didn't. happens to the verb when you use didn't? In the base, the base form. form. Excellent. Excellent. So, you will talk about the activities you did on the weekend. Thank you for being present. Remember, we have vacation next week. Así que no se desaparezca esta semana, aproveche. Mm -hmm. Por si piensa ir a Nueva York, a Miami, California, va más pulido con el inglés. Okay, hey, see. thank you, teacher. Yeah, sure, no problem. Ya ven que ya es la primera viajera. <laughs> or Jamaica, Belize, I don't know. All right, so talk about your weekend, people. Let's go. Okay, bye.
to our city. Oh yeah, it's, it's a good university because uh, they have a lot of uh, laboratories uh, for my career. Um, mm -hmm. they, they have a, a lot of different kind of... Okay. Um, what about you, about your next vacations all the week? Uh, because of the pandemic, uh, I don't think so that we will go to any place. I don't I can, think I can I can remember. I think maybe uh, 1995 maybe could be but let me search What are you talking about? Well, about dates? No, we are talking about movies and talking about Space Jam. But the first, the first, uh, when uh, was the the year? It when, was. It was. I think it was ninety seven. Yes, I don't remember. I, I think it was ninety seven because I was, it, I was in my first. Uh, 96, 97, 96, 97. Maybe. Yeah, Space Jam with Michael Jordan. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was a nice movie. 96, 1996. 96, huh? Yes. <laughs> yep. Because we are talking, sorry, we are talking about the movie that we watch on weekend. And I... Um, was telling him that maybe this week we will watch Space, Space Jam 2. Yes. Oh, <laughs> so did you watch the first one last weekend? Uh, no, I, I saw probably two, week, two weeks ago. Okay. The first one. Yes. All right. And this weekend I watched um, the Black Widow. Okay. All right. Very interesting. <laughs> what, what, what is your favorite movie, Yolanda? I have many favorite movies. Many. Can you mention but, one? Um, tell me. The, um, Una Esposa de Mentiras. Okay. For example. Okay. Or You Got a Mail. Romantic. Uh -huh. Or Cruella. Okay. And I, I I like a lot of movies. <laughs> All right, yeah. What about you, George? What is your favorite movie? Uh, uh, I I love the series of Star Wars. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I I liked uh, Star Wars when I was a kid. Yes. I, I remember seeing the first Star Wars in Cine Darío in nineteen <laughs> I don't know late seventies maybe. Yes, okay. I remember when I was uh, seven, seven years old, maybe, uh -huh. my dad uh, come with me and we go to the cinema. I, I don't remember the name of the cinema, but yeah. I, I remember the, the first uh, Star Wars movie. Right. right. How old are you, George? Fifty. 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 Yes. Were, were you born in nineteen seventy or nineteen seventy one? Seventy one. I I was born in nineteen seventy one. I was born in nineteen seventy one. So I'm gonna be fifty. Okay. So when were you born? Nineteen seventy or seventy one? Seventy. Seventy. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, December twelfth. December, December twelfth. December twelfth, nineteen seventy. Yes. Okay. I was born one year later. Teacher, the day of the birthing of Guadalupe. Exactly. Exactly. I was born December twenty first, two one. Oh really? So you were born oh, December twelfth, oh. one two. I was born two one. Oh. Fine. 1971. Very close. Uh, <laughs> yeah, close. One day to be uh, uh, Niño Dios. 
<laughs> maybe, maybe. Almost. <laughs> yeah. So maybe they, they wanted to use me as Niño Dios. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the main session. Show me, show me the picture. <laughs> what is it? Show me the picture when you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, if I show you a picture of, of the real Niño Dios and myself, you will say like, Francisco, which one are you? You look exactly the same. <laughs> I guess so. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm uh, with uh, uh, Tela, the, the manta. Okay, the fabric. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, in a mustache. Bigotes. Yeah, mustache. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's go back to the main uh, session. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Any questions on how to express your ideas in the simple past tense about pronunciation structures, denotation, connotation? What, what's the difference between denotation and connotation, people? I don't know, sir. Anybody? What's the meaning of denotation? I don't know what mean denotation. Okay, let me put it in the chat. Okay. Denotation versus connotation. For example, um, teacher. Connotation yep. is, is, is context. Aha. Uh -huh. And denotation? Denotation is, is uh, I, I don't know. Okay. It's about grammar. Uh, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. um, let me give you an example. A con contraction? Uh, no. <laughs> the way you understand it. Why? Right. Okay. Um, hueco. ¿Qué es hueco? What's the meaning of hueco? Hollow. Empty. Hollow or empty. That's the denotation. <coughs> That's the denotation. What is hueco in Guatemala? Someone gay. Someone gay. So if you go to Guatemala, they say, no seas hueco. Like, no seas marica. So, Denotation is the real meaning of the word. Connotation is how you use the word. So denotation is the real meaning. It's the meaning you find in the dictionary. The word. Denotation. Connotation is how you use it. Right? Okay. I estaba in in el sofá. ¿Qué guardar allá? Ahí lo puse. Okay. How do you use the word? Okay. How you use the word? How you use the word? Okay. So sometimes you say, look, I saw that word with a different meaning. And it's true because words have denotation and they also have connotation. Right? It's like the word big zero in El Salvador. You know the word big zero? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> That's not a bad word. You know, that yes. word yes. Is, is what shoemakers use. Es como una cera. But in the past, they used to call it a big zero. Oh, That's the real zero. meaning. That's the real meaning. That's the denotation. What is the connotation? Man, in El Salvador, it has a lot of connotation. Picture. Picture. Yes, sir. Uh, it's like when you say chivo, right? Uh, when you say chivo, it's like a, a pretty or the denotation. Like, cool. Like an animal. Land. Right. So the okay. denotation of chivo is an animal. It's an animal. Right. Mm -hmm. But what is the connotation in El Salvador? Cool. Nice. Very good people. Right. Right. For life. Yeah, one time I went I went to Nicaragua and, and, and I met someone and I kept repeating Chivo, Chivo. And then she says, 
what's the meaning of Chivo? Why do you say Chivo so much? And I explained that Chivo in El Salvador means cool, you know? So that is the, the difference between denotation and connotation. Okay. We can mention so many examples of how people use good words with a bad meaning. Got it? Yeah. But yeah. I know that you guys never say bad words, you know? All, other classes, no, no, other no, no, groups. No. Not you guys. Teacher, exactly. yes. teacher, teacher. Yeah. How do you write uh, the notation? It's right there in the chat. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Denotation, connotation. Denotation. Denotation, connotation. Right. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> why am I talking about this? How do you say I wish I to be to be were there. I wish I were there. I I wish I were there. How do you say desearía que estuvieras aquí? I wish I wish you were here. You were here. Here. Observation. When you're talking about wishes in English, was does not exist. Was does not exist. So you said, what do you mean? So you're going to use oh, okay. word with all personal pronoun. So how do you say, me gustaría que ella estuviera aquí? I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish she, 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 were, she were here. She were here. I wish you were here. Yeah. How do you say me gustaría que usted estuviera en mis zapatos? I would like. I wish. I wish you, you, you were, were in my shoes. In my shoes. I wish you were in my shoes. So when you're talking about wishes, whether the wish is positive or negative, it's mandatory that you use the simple past form. Got it? How yeah. do you say, desearía que no lloviera en septiembre? I wish, I wish it didn't, it didn't rain, rain on rain. September. Excellent. I wish, I wish it didn't, didn't rain, rain in September. In September. Mm -hmm. How do you say, me gustaría, desearía que fueras más honesto? I, I wish, wish you were. You be honest. I wish you were. You were, you were honest. honest. I wish you were more honest. More honest. Yeah, they but in Spanish, not in English. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say? Me gustaría no usar lentes. I, I, I wish, wish I didn't, wonder, I didn't, I didn't wear, use glasses. Or I didn't wear glasses. Uh, I wish. Teacher, can you repeat the, the rules? Okay. You use wish plus the simple past. It's very simple. Wish plus the simple past. Positive or negative? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you it's say? It's in the simple past. Yeah, wish plus the simple past. It's in the section three of the platform. Exactly. Right? It's in section three of the platform. Wishes. Yes. So yes. how do you say, me gustaría tener una Homer? <laughs> I, I wish, I tener wish a, to I have. I wish I had. I wish I had a Homer. A Homer. A Homer. Uh -huh. What's a Hummer? Yes, I don't know. It's a car. It's a it's nice a, car. It's a car. It's a car. Yeah. It's a car. Expensive. Car. Very, expensive very, very expensive. Exactly. That's the reason why I wish, because it's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> a luxury car. <laughs> yeah, a luxury car. Exactly. It doesn't exist. Yeah, it, it, it exists in my mind. It exists in my wish list. <laughs> Anyways, so um, any it's questions? Possible. How do you say, desearía tomar más agua? 
I wish I wish I I drank I wish I drank I drank I wish I drank I drank I wish I drank more water. I wish I drank more water. How do you say desearía escribir más? I I wish I wrote more. I wrote more. more. Excellent. Very good. So we're going to do this exercise. I have 24 people. Cada uno de ustedes me va a escribir un deseo. Positive, negative. Your wish can be about your personal life, about the work, studies, anything. So let me start. I wish I were <coughs> at the beach. Okay. I wish I were at the beach. ¿Qué puse ahí? Uh -huh. yeah. So my wish no, is no. in the past tense, right? Yeah. So si yo le diría, me gustaría no tener que trabajar, I wish I didn't work on Sundays. I wish I didn't work on Sundays. ¿Qué dice ahí? I wish I were rich. Okay, so everybody, write one example in the chat. Okay. Voy a ir contando. Ya Felix escribió, I wish I were rich. Creo que todos coincidimos con ese. I wish I won the lottery. Good. I wish I were single. <laughs> hmm. All right. Uh, I wish I were an actress. Good. I wish I knew how to surf. I wish I were on vacation. I wish I learned... Learned has to be in past tense. Learned how to react. Uh huh. I wish I lived in Australia. Good. What else, people? Solo ocho personas han escrito. I wish were in the mountain. I wish I were in the mountains. Good. I wish I traveled to Spain. I wish I, I... studied. <laughs> studied has to be in past tense. I wish I were. Younger, yeah. I I wish I didn't work in the night. Okay, at night. At night. Okay, I wish we won the gold cup. I wish I were. I wish I traveled, traveled to many countries. I wish I had a lot of money. Me too. Um, I wish I lived in the USA. I wish I understood English perfectly. I wish I found a new job. I wish I were 20 years old. 20, I remember <laughs> when I was 20. I wish, okay, I wish I lived for a sports time. Okay, I wish I lived for a sports time. Okay, I wish I were in Bora Bora. Where's Bora Bora in the Pacific? Huh? It's an island. It's, I, it's an island between France and I don't remember the other place, but it's near to France. Okay. It is a beautiful island. <laughs> okay, good, good. I wish I had a successful company. I wish I learned all the verbs in English. Excellent. All your wishes are possible. All your wishes are possible. All right. Questions. I wish I knew Paris Tower. The Paris okay. Tower. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's the capital of France or oh, Paris? The Paris Tower. Yes, Tower. I wish world peace. Good. I wish world peace. Excellent. Okay, questions or comments? No. No? Okay. So, vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer de caso que viene alguien a prometerle things. Oh, teacher. Yeah. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Corey. Uh, when we use a wish, we don't use like. Like uh, no. when I say I would like no. anything. No. Oh. So, usted puede decir, desearía que me gustaran los vegetales. I wish okay. I liked vegetables. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you use them a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I wish I played basketball. I wish mm -hmm. I were more active. I wish I were bilingual and things like that. 
Okay, All right. Thank you, teacher. I have a question. Yes, Carla. Which and wool are not the same? Uh, they are similar, but they are used a, bit, a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So let me let me give you an example. So I wish I worked on. I wish I worked on Saturdays. How do you say propina in English? Uh, tip. 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 So tip. imagine you work in a restaurant and people tell you, man, Saturdays here, you get a lot of tips. So you say to yourself, I wish I worked on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, I would like to work on Saturdays. I would like to work on Saturdays. It's the same meaning. It's the same meaning, exactly. You're using a different structure, but the meaning is exactly the same. Mm. Ah. Got it? It's Got another it. use. So. It's two different so forms to send the same message. Um, yes. But I think uh, is wool to use in the present, and I wish is for the past tense. I don't know. No, uh, wish. Remember, when you're talking about wishes, you're talking about hypothetical things. I mm -hmm. wish I had money. I wish I lived in Spain. I wish I had my mother here with me. I wish I didn't work on vacation. So things like that. Teacher, and yep. we can use want. I want. Sure, sure. But want is more general. Oh, okay. So I want to work on Saturdays. It's like you're going straight to the point. Yes, you can say want to. And then maybe with the example that you give us, El, I, I wish is something that that you say that is hypothetical, but I would like to do something that you have the the I don't know the I don't know how to say the the the, the, the feeling the uh -huh, the that, 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 that's the feeling to to do it right right uh, yeah so you said I would like some ice cream now so if I really want it, I go to the fridge, I open it, and I eat it. Okay. Now, if there is nothing in the fridge, I said, I wish I had some ice cream. Oh, okay. So it, it's more hypothetical. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. More hypothetical. Teacher, a question. Yes, Hannah. Uh, I, 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 I wish in positive, uh, uh, always use uh, past tense. The verb is always in past tense, yes. And negative is a basic form, the verb and basic form. Yes, if the information is negative, you say didn't, and the verb is base form. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yep. Questions? Yes. Uh, I wish is most more common common for for gringos yeah use. everybody uses i wish i wish right teacher and when yep. we can use word uh okay where is the past tense of are so where are you going to use where when you want to say me gustaría estar or me gustaría ser? Mm -hmm. So if you're talking about conditions, you use where. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you say me gustaría ser flaco? I wish I were skinny. I were skinny. I were thin. I were yeah. slim. I were in shape. I were fit. There are many words to say uh, when someone is in good condition. Questions? No? Different uh, context, uh, I wish I won. No. 
uh, because me gustaría querer, it doesn't sound too good. So you say want, like I want ice cream, I want lunch. But when you say I wish I want, it's not, it doesn't sound uh, too good. Redundante. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, good. Anybody else? ¿Cuál es el deseo que más quiere usted? El que más pusiera, ¿cuál fuera su deseo número uno? I wish I what? I wish, I, I wish, wish I fucking, I don't know. Who's, who's the youngest here? ¿Quién es el más joven o jovencita aquí? Edwin, how old are you? I'm 23. 23. Michelle, how yes. old are you? I'm 19. 19. Anybody Ooh. less than 19? Corey, how old are you? 28. 28. Okay, yeah. you look younger. Very Very younger. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Michelle is the youngest. Michelle. Very, so 19. I remember when I was 19. So, uh, <laughs> I wish I had Michelle's age with the way I think now. Right? Oh. Yeah. Okay, when I was 19, hablando de Francisco Marroquín, <clears throat> yo no, no, no me parecía lo que, a lo que, a lo que soy ahora. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, so uh, that's, those are wishes. So imagine that it's political campaign. Estamos en campaña política y viene alguien a decir, yo les prometo esto y aquello. ¿Qué le pediría para El Salvador usted? ¿Qué le pediría de su vecindario? I wish security. I, I wish we had security. more security. Peace. How do you say, desearía que el bus pase hasta las 11 de la noche. I wish the bus passed at the public transportation. Work. I wish the bus passed at the run until 11. Until 11 p.m. Yeah. yeah. You know, in other countries, public transportation is 24 hours. 24 Ooh. hours. Ahora bien, si usted sale a la una de la mañana, el bus pasa uh -huh. cada una hora, pero pasa. Uh -huh. So you don't have to worry about a car or paying an expensive taxi. Uh -huh. So right. it's, it's, it's a different, uh, different culture. Anyways, so once again, vamos a hacer de caso que llega alguien pidiendo su voto y usted le va a pedir qué es lo que le gustaría ver en su vecindario en el país. So let me do this here. Recreate. Recreate. Mm. Remember, if your partner is not responding or for whatever reason termina solito, you need to tell me something. Pero hay algunos que se quedan ahí calladitos que dicen, ay, qué chivo, no hablar con nadie. But that's not good. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Talk about your wishes. Family, neighborhood, work, university, anything. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> I wish. Sure. Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, yep. Como, como digo, deseo no ser tan tímido. I wish I weren't so timid. No. Weren't. Or shy. Or shy, yes. Okay. I wish I won't. Weren't. Okay. Weren't. Were, but negative form. Weren't. Weren't. Okay. Thank you. Right. I, I, I'll put it in the chat right now. I wish I weren't shy. Right there. You see it? All right. Yes, sir. Vladimir, Hello. did you call me? Yes. 
Do you have a question? Uh, I am politic. Uh, go to the neighbor. I wish the the fix the the park. I wish yeah. they fixed fix they fixed the park. Fix the park. Okay, so more plants, better games, more security. Good. Yes. All right, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Move to okay. room three and room four. All right.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about how to make wishes? Yes, I have a question. Please. Ask me, Corey. Uh, how to say comprometido? Uh, committed. Committed. Uh -huh. Can you put in the chat, please? Sure, committed. My wish is uh, that the... I wish I were more committed to the gym. I wish I were more committed to my French class, for example. Mm -hmm. I wish I were it, it, mm, my wish is that I wish it was more committed with the nature. I this wish I were more I committed say. With nature. Nature. Yes. I wish but it's I for me. It's okay. for the politic. Oh, okay. I wish you were more committed with nature. Remember that was mm -hmm. does not exist. Yes. Was does not that. exist. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? No, teacher. No. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Thank Brush you. Brush your teeth. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.